everyone has a story of how they started forex trading everyone has their process and this is my story so if you want to know how i started forex trading my journey my process and how far i've gone and what how i got myself here keep on watching so i have i have i've come to realize that god will use anything anyone as long as as long as he want his message to be passed he can even use me to just tell you today that you're not alone the message of this video the message in this video is number 1 you're not alone number 2 do not despise a humble beginning number 3 do not give up because it's a process you're in a process do not give up so for me i have I have, I have really uh, gone through a lot. Majority of people don't know. I don't share that part of me so much online, but I feel like your scars is your ministry. Your scars is your ministry anyway. Uh, when you see a successful person, don't be moved by the cars they are driving, the big house and everything. Be interested with how do they even have scars in the first place? And if they have scars, how did they get them and how did they overcome? So for me, I have a lot of scars and I know that because some have healed, some are in the process of healing and some are fresh. So I will only talk of what has healed and in the process because this is a journey we have started with any more free uh, family here on YouTube. As long as you're a more free family, of course, you will get to see my journey Um unveil every single day because this is a space I feel comfortable to share my journey and even not only the, the the learning aspect even for the life and the process so for me guys um starting forex in 2020 was not just a coincidence you know the way people say oh you have lacked something to do for me I feel it was so divine like I really I really asked God like I had tried everything, guys, I had tried everything, name it. I had tried to sell everything. I had tried to, to go to online and do all this survey, online writing, to do, to sell bitcoins. I have, I had tried multi-level marketing. I had tried to sell makeups. I had tried to sell clothes. I would go to Gekomba buy clothes and then come and sell secondhand clothes like for me i had tried everything and I, I i feel in my heart like i'm talking to that person who has tried everything like you feel you have exhausted maybe there's something that you have not touched till the forex maybe and for me I had tried everything apart from forex so i remember uh let me let me just give you a, a bit story of my life i got married when i was so young i was just 21 years old you can imagine i was just 21 years old and before then just from high school i will tell you my grades i got a c plus and the reason why i'm sharing my grades is because majority of people keep asking me esther i'm a dropout can i do forex esther i reached grade eight class eight can i still do forex Esther, i didn't go to college i didn't go to university let me tell you in the world of forex is different it doesn't care you if you have a master it doesn't care if you're if you're a grade eight student it doesn't care the world of forex i keep telling people this thing is spiritual because if it was for masters and degrees i'm telling you People would be would be tamaking looking for a job because of their grades. They would do forex very well. But in the world of forex, is so different. It doesn't care the, the, the your papers. It just care that you you are motivated and you're ready to to learn and you're ready to grab. So if you're there and you're thinking that yes, I can do forex, but I think I don't have enough education. That's a lie from the enemy. I was not a, an A student and I'm doing well. I, I can comprehend the information in the charts because it's no longer about the grades you got. So I have, I, I have cleared the air. People ask me that a lot. I have cleared the air. So I didn't have grades to take me to university. Either C plus, you can go to 
to campus that you pay a lot of money. My, my parents didn't have that much. So I went to a college and I did 3D animation and multimedia. So by the time I'm getting married, the cost that I had was 3D animation and multimedia. And I think it's 1% pe companies that I employ in the world because animation, you can imagine animation getting job via animating. It's, it's so rare. So I knew my chances of looking, even looking for a job is rare. It's a skill. Yes, I've gotten a skill. And I was planning either to use the skill to animate things for myself and maybe to start something. But now I'm in the house. I'm married. And my husband is working. And let me tell you guys that to be a stay-at-home mom is not a choice. It's not a choice. But sometimes you will find yourself as a stay-at-home mom. But when you're aware you're a stay-at-home mom and you don't do anything, now you have decided to be a stay-at-home mom. Sometimes you get married, you start getting kids, and then now it, the kids go to school and you're still there. Now that, that's a decision. It's no longer a, that's a decision you have decided. And I want to tell men who are watching me, don't allow your woman to be a stay-at-home mom forever. She's not doomed to be a stay-at-home mom. I thank my husband so much because he really played a key, a key part of me moving and shifting my mindset. Because I was looking at my life and I'm thinking, what will I do anyway? What will I do? Like I've tried everything. I've gone to get combat sold everything. Like there's nothing I thought I would do to make me money because I had tried. But my husband kept pushing and saying, you can still do it. So uh, I just want to talk to that man. Don't, don't, don't give up on your wife. Okay. So, and you, who you are watching and you're a stay home mom, if your husband is not encouraging and motivating you, it's high time you start motivating yourself. You might wait for this man to tell you to rise up and do something and it will never come. So you have to, uh, you have to be, to make that decision. Okay. So, I, I remember my husband was not in a stable job and that's why people say that the food to mouth kind of a of a of a environment or a season where what he gets is what we eat. So tomorrow we don't have anything. And this will bring you to when the fifth of paying rent comes, you don't have the money to pay. So first month, second month, third month, fourth month you're still struggling by the third month, you get the money for the first month. That cycle is the worst. Let me tell you, if you're watching me and you're in that stuck in that cycle of rent, I pray, I pray the almighty God, the God who hears, he will hear and bless the work of your hands because we have to realize that you cannot do the same thing and expect a different result. You have to change what you're doing so that by the time you're praying to God, God now is listening and he's, he's working behind the scenes. So he shall bless the work of your hands. The question is, what is in your hands? What is in your hands for God to bless? Yes, God wants to bless you, but what is in your hands? So for me, after I have tried everything, for me, my problem was not the blessing of the work of my hands, I would ask God, but I'm active. I'm hardworking. I, I always want to do something with my hands because I know, but God brought me to a scripture and this is mind blowing guys. Uh, there's this scripture says that Jesus is light, is the way, the truth and life. So when, when Jesus say, I am the way, I am the way. So you have to come back to your senses and ask God, by the way, what am I doing or what I'm doing? Is it in the way of Christ? Is Because the Bible says that his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. So you have to ask yourself, by the way, I have been doing one, two, three. Is it really what God wants me to do? And that's why you keep seeing people will go to college, university. They learn a course for six years. But the question is, did God tell you to do that course? You open a business, you fund it millions of Kenya shillings or thousands of dollars. You fund that business. But the question, bottom line, yes, you have funded the business, but you won't go to bless that work of your hands. But the, the question is, did God say you'd start that business? And that's why when the Bible says clearly that Jesus is the way, 
before you do anything, ask him. Ask him. Because where Jesus is, he is the way. And that's why people mi misinterpret the scripture that says, I shall make the way in the wilderness. So you may be in a job and maybe they're not paying you well. Maybe they are mistreating you. They are rejecting you. They are mishandling you. And when you pray that scripture, you say, God, I know my boss will change. I know the situation will change. I know the situation will change. You what say God will make a way where there seem no way. I know tomorrow I shall smile. But the question is, have you even asked yourself, is that the way? Because if it's not the way, there is no way God can make a way where there is confusion. So you have to come fast and ask God, by the way, I am, am I in the right job? Is this what Jesus chose for me? So for me, I was doing everything, but not what Jesus wanted for my life. Not what God would expect me to do. I was doing it for myself. And I remember back in 2020, I was so frustrated. I think the last business I did was MLM, multi-level marketing. I would convince people to get into my, I've done, I've done those multi-level marketing where you convince people to pay you money so that the upline, I don't know all those things, but I would go to hotels, convince, convince, convince. And I think I told God starting 2020, ah, no way. I just want, I just want to pray. And I remember praying for seven days. Fasting for seven days. And the, the, the fasting was not for things. At that time, I didn't have even rent. Food was a problem. I was confused. I didn't have value. Like literally, I didn't have value. I was a stable mom. So my prayers were simple. Show me the way. Show me what to do. I have tried. And you see, the Bible says that I'll make a way where they seem no way. So the scripture really means, the, the mystery of that scripture is, is saying, I'll make Jesus where they seem no Jesus. So the first, the, the first you acknowledge that I, li I literally need Jesus, Jesus appears, he comes. And let me tell you, after those episodes of trying this and that and failing, that's when I stumbled upon Forex. Yet, Forex, I had known about it six years ago. Back in 2014, I had known about Forex. I had interacted with Forex, but did I even ask God, oh, this is what he wanted me to do? I assumed, and I started to do other things. And majority of you who are watching me, you have not started Forex because of delaying. You keep delaying, you keep pushing it. Someone has typed about Forex and this video has come up. You, It's like God is trying to tell you that you have really wasted a lot of time. God started to speak about Forex four years ago, five years ago, but you're just discovering yourself this year. But it's not too late as long as you're in the path of the of the Christ. As long as you're in the path. So I, I started Forex. That's my journey. I started Forex. And how, I, like, my journey for Forex, it was not hard as people may put it. Hard, I mean, to understand the concept was easy. For me, I would understand. Yes, making money, it's a process, but understanding. You see, the way you have an understanding, there is patience. Yeah, because this is the way. And then I think the one that I've been stuck for a long time is the truth. Understanding that Jesus, once you acknowledge that he is your way and you're in the right path, because remember the Bible says that the word of God is the lamp on my feet and the light of my path. So the word is Christ. John 1, 1 say, in the beginnings there was word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So when the Bible says that uh, the, the word of God is the lamp and the, and the light on my path, it means, you can, can you imagine what that scripture says? The word of God is the lamp on my feet and the light on my path. So Jesus is the lamp. The word, Jesus is the lamb. Jesus is the light under your feet. So when you start walking, that word gives you light. You're able to know where you're going. Ah, when I understood that. So uh, when, when you're in the right path, there's no way you can say you're getting confusion. So after now you understand your path, I understood my path. That's how I'm telling you. I had to understand the truth. 
the expression of Jesus as the truth in my life. The expression of understanding, now I need the truth. I need to work with the truth. This is a huge market. And you see, the first discouragement comes when people tell you, people do Forex, but 95% fail. Only 5% win. But I was asking God, why is it, is it like that? And God was telling me, like I got a revelation. The 95% are those people without the truth. Because if you don't have the truth, you will fail. If all these people have the truth that the market will buy, they will make money. If they have the truth, the market will sell. They, they will make money. So for me, I, I was thinking, oh my goodness, I need the truth. You guys, if you, th if you think I, I get so like so much concentrating with the Holy Spirit is because I realized that there are some things I cannot do without the power of the Holy Spirit. I realized that Jesus has become my wisdom. I have the mind of Christ. The Bible says that you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. The reason why you are in that bondage even right now is because you don't know the truth that Forex can change your life or something else. And I'm not saying Forex is the only thing God is the source and he chooses the channel to bring wealth to you according to his preference. So God will look at you and say, oh, the way I want to bless you and create wealth upon your life, I'll give you talent. You'll be a good musician. The, one, the way I want you to bless your life, I will create this channel, designed it for you. You'll be the best designer. And if people try to copy you, they cannot. So for me, I'm talking for myself and other people who have been chosen to this path of Forex. And I believe God, cho God chose me and others who are following me for this channel of Forex that has $6 trillion. Who wouldn't want such a channel? Because money is not a problem. So for me to understand the truth and bring Christ in. And you see why, you see I have come to realize Jesus, when he was going to heaven, he said, allow me to go because whoever is coming will help you always. So the truth is to understand that Jesus did leave a helper and that helper is the Holy Spirit. He's our teacher. He's our mentor. He's everything, everything, guys. And the few years that have been in the market, I was building the truth. I was building the truth. And I cannot emphasize how beautiful that it is to know that I will give you the treasures of the hidden, the, the treasures of the darkness, and I will give you the riches that has been stored in the secret place. Understanding that already Jesus has a good will, already Jesus meant good things for you. So when you come to Forex, it's not a try and error. You're not coming to try your luck here. If it is the right path, you have to succeed. That's what I'm saying. So for me, I, I didn't come here second guessing. The path is, is the right. Now I have to build my truth. And the past few years, I've been building my truth. And once you build your truth so good, you will be introduced to the life. And let me tell you guys, it has not been easy to fight the demons that comes you know, the demons that speak to you when you're trading. And that's why people say 80% is trade psychology. Because you will want to buy, but the, the brain is telling you what if you lose and you, you get scared. I don't know if you have ever been in a trade. The one that you wanted to trade and you didn't go well. The one you did not want and you found yourself in goes badly. That's how trade psychology is all about. So me, my trading journey has been three phases. Number one, understanding that Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way. There's no, there no other way. Is him. So when I say Forex is spiritual, what I mean is that if this is the right path of the Father, if this is the channel that God has given, it has to work. Then the second phase of my trading journey has been gathering the truth understanding that I'm more than conqueror, understanding that whoever is in me is greater than whoever is in the world, understanding that I have the spirit of God. And when the spirit of God came upon my life, I got the power, the power to be witness 
all over the world. Do you know what that means? That when the Holy Spirit is upon you, you are already a witness all over the world. And that's why you're watching me. You're not in Kenya. You're watching me in different country because I have to be a witness all over the world of the works of God. So I am not moved by someone who comments and say anything negative about my faith because I do not understand. I do not require approval of men for me to be confident with what I'm saying because I already know the truth. The truth, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. And you see the struggling, the struggles, and I feel the battles that I have fought, which I will come to speak later in life, the battles I fought in the Forex market is because now I'm, I want to get the truth and the enemy wants to, search to, to snatch the truth. And that's why the scripture says that the enemy comes but to kill, steal, and destroy. Once the enemy, once you start your calling yourself a winner, once you start calling yourself your rich, once you start calling yourself your more than conqueror, guess what? The enemy now is on your case. He comes to prove. He comes to prove. And that's why in the Garden of Eden, he asked Eve, did God really say? So the enemy is, we are not even surprised when the enemy comes to tell you, did really God say you will be rich when you're blowing account? Did God really say you will be, you'll be wealthy? You're the one to save your family when you are drowning in debt. Did God really say when you cannot even provide for your family? Then that, that's when now the word, the truth is tested. So as a Forex trader, if you're in this phase of the truth being tested, don't mistake the truth being tested by you failing. You might call you, you might call yourself a failure, but it's just the truth being tested. It's like when Joseph was thrown to in the prison for two years, he would have given up. He would have thought it's doomed. These dreams that I keep having, they don't make sense. But the time for the king to dream and lack interpretation came. So the only man who was to interpret the king's dream was Joseph. So what am I trying to say? I am trying to say when your time comes and the process is done, it will be like a snap of a finger. So don't mistaken your process. Don't mistaken your process with something different. Like, oh, I'm failing. Oh, it is difficult. Oh, so there are three faces and I've said my trading journey, I had to realize that this is the path, the right path. So I'm not confused. I'm not here thinking there's something else that God has prepared for me. I'm very focused. I chose, uh, God called me to do Forex. I started to do Forex with an understanding that this is the right path. This is the way. And if Jesus is the way, he can never lead me to darkness. So that is the, my first phase. The second phase I understood is the truth. So I have been gathering so much truth and I even have noticed in the market, if you don't know how resistance is formed, if you don't know resistance is formed from when a green candle is followed by a red, if that truth is removed from you, you will keep making mistakes. If you don't know that when the market goes up, buyers are in control, if that truth is removed from you, you will still keep making mistakes. So what I want to tell you is that my, my trading journey, I, I have reflected with what Jesus said, that I am way, I am life, I am truth, and I am life. The reason why now I have really discussed way and truth is because when you discover the life of Jesus, you don't even need to speak. If you involve everything with the life of Jesus, you don't need to speak because the life of Jesus is so precious and so in abundance. And that is where I am. And I don't need even to tell you that I have the life of Jesus. My trading has the life of Jesus because if Jesus is life, what life means is the Bible says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. But whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. If you have the life of Jesus, nothing, nothing yours will fail. Nothing of yours will fail. Blowing account will be something of past. Making millions will be your everyday routine. Because now you have the life of Christ. And that's the level I mean. 
it may not look like it but it is because we don't look we don't go by sight to walk by faith so for me i am in that level of life i have to call for the life the bible says the same spirit that was able to raise jesus christ from dead is the same spirit in me meaning there's nothing of me that is supposed to be dead my finances should be alive my family should be alive everything i touch should turn gold so I want to show you my trading journey. And if you follow, you have now, the question is yours. You have to ask yourself, where are you in the three? Where are you in the three? Are you in the, are you in the way? Are you in the truth? Are you still struggling with the way? Are you still struggling? Like, by the way, let me just go for this job. Me, I think this Forex is not mine. You're struggling with the way. Or you think, oh, these people are succeeding. What if I do what they are doing? You're still struggling with the way. Because you don't have confidence who you are following. You don't have confidence that the word, Jesus himself, he's the one who has brought this way. And you have to trust him. Now, if you are struggling with believing that you're more than conqueror, believing that Forex can give you your first million, do you have that belief in you? Is that truth? engraved like is that truth so real to you that nobody can tell you anything do you think that forex will be one of the things if god uses many it will be one of the things that will make you rich that is the truth and now when it comes to life nothing life once you once you have the life anything that you do you'll start inspiring other people once life gives life to who, who, to those who don't have it and that's why that's where i am that's where i am and i know by the time this year is ending i'll be somewhere far so that is my trading journey and i hope you have learned something you have learned something so by the time i'm hitting five years in july next year i will look back on this video and I'll say surely eh now I have the life. You see, life means what? Life of Christ means abundance. The Bible says Jesus became poor for me to be rich. Life of Christ means doing things great in a greater way. The Bible says your skill shall create a room in the presence of great men. Your skill, your skill shall create room. It's high time you start seeing me with the great men. Don't be shocked if you see Esther Murphy shocked with so and so don't be shocked is the gift and the bible has said your gift shall create a room you shall stand a skillful man shall stand in the presence of kings don't be shocked if if i'm in dubai and i'm standing in the presence of royalty don't be surprised don't be surprised if i start dining with kings because that is the life of christ in me and if the life of christ is in me and what i do what the result is mind-blowing so i'm 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 so eager i'm so eager to be a witness of christ i'm so eager to be a witness and don't be left behind this is my story you can also have your story okay guys all the best create your story create your memories but always know let everything you do be in the way of Christ. Let everything you do have the truth of Christ. And let everything you do have the life of Christ. Okay? Bye-bye and love you.